Hello students, this is Dr. Mahesh Bishinde and welcome to the course on communication skills, business communication. In unit number one, lesson one, we have seen about importance of communication. We also discussed what is effective communication. We discussed about importance of English language. We discussed origin of the word communication and we discussed some definitions. In this lesson number two, we are going to see the characteristics and levels of communication. The objectives are study various characteristics, features of communication and understand various levels of communication. So first let us discuss characteristics or features of communication. So like every object, every thing has its own characteristics, communication also has its own characteristics. For example, communication always is a two-way process it is both the parties are equally involved. You cannot say communication is successful when only speaker is speaking and receivers are not receiving, listeners are not listening. It is not the case. So it is a two-way communication. There should be someone to give, tell, inform in the same way. There should be someone who would like to know, who would like to learn from the receiver. Second is it is a dynamic process that is communication changes from person to person, place to place, time to time and so on. Person to person, the way we communicate with our parents, the way we communicate with our teachers, the way we communicate with our friends and the way we communicate with our relatives. The way every time we communicate it changes from whom, uh, from person to person that is with whom we are communicating. From place to place also our communication style changes from place to place that is the way we communicate at home is different the way we communicate at college is different and the way we will communicate maybe in future definitely that will be different. Even the, the way we communicate when we are meeting informally and having chit chat in canteen that is the different place. So there we communicate in different style. From time to time again just try to recollect the way you were communicating when you were a child, when you were in the 10th standard, when you were in the 12th standard. Now the way you are communicating and in future also after 10 years from now you will definitely change your way of communication. So that is it changes from time to time. Also language changes from time to time. Marathi being spoken in the 10th century, 15th century, 20th century and 21st century. In the same way English being spoken in those centuries and today it is absolutely different. Previously we were communicating with the help of words more but today in the digital era we are communicating with the help of most of the social medias. So communication is a dynamic process. It changes from person to person, place to place, time to time and so on. Third characteristic is communication is a symbolic process that is there is no any relation between the word we are saying and the object that word is representing that is it is completely arbitrary it is just a combination of symbols. For example why we call this particular uh, uh, device as a let us say TV or mobile or uh, uh, pad iPad you are uh, watching on now or a particular object for example this particular device it is why we call it as mobile there is no any relation between uh, the symbol and the object it is absolutely arbitrary we are talking in the same uh, uh, style just because our forefathers have done it. The another example is then if it is so why it is there um, you know the same object is called by different names in different languages. For example a, a three bladed object is called as fan in English, pankha in Marathi and in each language it has its own word. So it shows that there is no relation between the word and the uh, object it is representing it is absolutely a combination of symbols it is absolutely arbitrary. Next characteristic is very important communication is a systematic process unless it follows a particular system it cannot be a communication it is a system systematic arrangement of words sentences paragraphs books and so on for example can you tell me which this sentence is just pause for some time and try to try to identify the sentence you may pause for one or two seconds five seconds or till you get the answer just what is the sentence Now you must have got it but I hope you understand now it has taken more than usual time to identify the sentence. Why? Because it is not in a systematic arrangement. 
the system of english language the spelling then sentence construction subject verb object that pattern is not followed that is why we are finding it very difficult to identify the sentences so what is the sentence just check this is what i want to prove why we can easily read the second part easily read this uh, particular second one it is just because we have this systematic process in our mind and as it is disturbed in the first we are not able to identify so it is a systematic process then next it has meanings no communication is meaningless every time whatever you say whatever you do whatever you exhibit that conveys some meaning and finally it can be sometimes intentional it can be sometimes unintentional so sometimes we do uh, something which uh, we do not want we actually do not want to uh, target anyone or do not want to show it to someone but uh, you know unintentionally that communication takes place depending on the situations and perceptions of the people moving ahead the levels of communication the levels are levels of communication are nothing but the communication which takes place at different levels for example the first is extra personal communication that is communication between human beings and non human and or non living things for example we do communicate with our pets trees have their own communication pattern amongst themselves we also communicate sometimes with the non living things like our bike like our mobile like our pen and so on so that all is called as extra personal that is beyond person communication with non human or non living things now it is another you know a matter of uh, another debate or question that whether animals understand our communication or not and there is research going on you know uh, whether animals understand our communication or not we do not uh, want to go in more details into that but definitely sometimes when we are we have to receive an important call and at the same time our battery gets discharged so we talk to our mobile or just for one minute just for two minutes i have to get one important call as if the mobile understands our language bike when it is not starting we talk as if please start i have to reach to my home reach to my office early or in time so that is talking with the non living things which is known as extra personal communication intra personal communication is within self we talk to ourselves we meditate we talk in front of mirror we write daily diary we just do think sit at one place and think all that is called as the intra personal communication that is within oneself then comes interpersonal communication between two or more people the communication which goes on between one person and there are there is some one or more than one that is known as interpersonal so when you talk with your friends when you talk with your teachers when you talk in the class all that is interpersonal communication or when i deliver class in uh, deliver lecture in the class that is also a kind of interpersonal communication then next levels are transpersonal communication which occurs within a person's spiritual domain communication with the almighty supreme power prayers meditation religious rituals and all that is nothing but transpersonal that is even beyond person we do prayers we do talk with gods we do talk with our almighty we do uh, you know uh, do some ritual religious ritual religious rituals and through which we uh, try to connect with the god so that is nothing but transpersonal communication then organizational communication a pattern of communication followed in an organization is called as organizational communication for example in an educational institute like kit we have different kind of layers like we have management then we have director then we have deans then we have registrar then we have hods then class teachers and students so all that pattern which is followed in educational organization is organizational communication same you have in let us say professional organizations where managing director is there director is there managers are there workers are there so the pattern followed in the organization is called as organizational communication and next one is mass or media communication that is through some type of medium like print media electronic media digital media social networking to a large or target audience so that is when we would like to communicate with the people at large we use this mass communication with the help of some media that can be print media that can be electronic media that can be digital media or social networking platform so the way we are communicating with for example news on the news channel mass media your own post on facebook instagram that is also a mass or media communication 
having understood the uh, uh, features and uh, uh, let us say the levels of communication here is the reflection spot for you just pause the video and identify the level of communication in the given situations so just you have to identify which level of communication is described here for example a parrot responding to your greetings whether it is extra personal intra personal interpersonal transpersonal or uh, uh, mass media or uh, let us say organizational you have to identify second writing a personal diary third having a conversation with a friend next a meeting of all the hod's in one organization and you watching this video on youtube so just pause for a while and try to identify the levels of communication i hope you have come up with your keys so let us see the first parrot responding to your greetings it is extra personal because a human being and non human being is communicating writing a diary that is you are writing to yourself so it is intrapersonal then having a conversation with your friend it is interpersonal between because more than two people are involved a meeting of all the hods it is organizational because it is it is followed in organization it is also interpersonal because all uh, human beings they are coming together and discussing and you watching this video on youtube it is mass communication it is media communication also it is interpersonal communication because even though we are uh, uh, using this uh, medium electronic medium or let us say uh, digital media still i am communicating with you that's why it also can be interpersonal communication but as the uh, help is taken of the medium that is the social media platform maybe youtube that is why it is a media or mass communication that's the end of lesson number 2 in lesson 3 we will see the elements process of communication cycle thank you so much